hi loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i slay this double braids hairstyle but if today is your first time here my name is vera Ann nomnachi please go ahead and click on that subscribe button and be part of us here hi guys so in today's video i'm going to be using sweeting hair wool this purple color and black i'm going to be mixing both together for today's hairstyle yeah so you all know that i have fallen in love with this particular wool because it's almost like the braids extension but this one is silky softer and even lighter than the braids extension so i'm going to go ahead and cut the length i want to use so this is the 20 inches length you can cut the 20 inches length if you have it and i divide it into sections and then i started pulling the ends of the hair so when i'm done pulling with this end of this part of the hair i also turn to the other end of the hair and also pull it keep on watching Okay guys, after pulling, I went on to brush the hair with this brush that has a hard bristles, yeah. So I'm going to brush it thoroughly to detangle it and to make it really smooth and easy to braid. So after brushing this hair thoroughly, the way I want to brush it, I went on ahead to divide this hair, like to make it smooth, sorry. I made it really smooth and then I applied a hair oil yeah this is a baby oil that i applied it's not a hair oil pardon me it's a baby oil so i'm gonna apply it on the hair so you go ahead and use any oil you have if you have shea butter whatever thing you have please use it and apply thoroughly on it it'll make it really easy to breathe and it'll be shining so when i finish with that part of the hair i went on to attach a rubber band to the, the middle of the hair just as you can see and then i have this mannequin this time for my mannequin i attached it there and then I, I took out the little part of this hair okay i separated a little part of this hair and then i put that part away when i finished putting that part away i divided this part of the hair into three sections and then i started braiding the three three braids all to to the end when i finished braiding i went on ahead to trim the hair keep on watching i'll be right back okay guys after that part i brought the hair out of the stand and then i'm going to attach the next part of this the hair 
into the rubber band guys i forgot to mention they say you're supposed to use any size of your choice okay if you want it bigger use bigger one if you want it smaller use smaller one okay so i'll touch it back again on the stand then i'll take out another section like the first time the way we took out the first one i'll take out another section and then i'll separate it like i'll put it away and then i'll start braiding this one like we did at the other part keep on watching okay guys when we finish this is what we actually got okay so these are two strands two double braids okay so i'm gonna be making eight all of it i made eight so two to one two to one eight in a row okay i know you understand what i'm saying so the next step is the hot water process i'll apply conditioner into the bowl and then i'll apply this hair oil into the bowl as well any hair serum any hair oil any conditioner you have please go ahead and use it and then i'll pour hot water inside the bowl please guys don't be restricted as to the things you should use manage what you have so the next thing is to soak the hair into the hot water just like you can see but please be sure not to also add that part of that leave out part that leave out part don't add it into the hot water okay be careful not to put it inside the hot water we don't want to soak it okay so we'll go ahead and soak this hair thoroughly inside the hot water so when we are done with soaking this part of the hair and then the tips just like you can see i'm going to turn this hair around and also make sure that i soak the head part okay of the hair as well so that it soaks but make sure that the leave out doesn't soak into the hot water the reason i don't want the leave out soak into the hot water is because i don't want the extension to be too smooth if it becomes too smooth it'd be very difficult when it's time for us to install the hair okay keep on watching
okay guys after that hot water process i had to dry it on a drying line to dry the next step is installation i have already divided my hair into four sections and then i have applied my edge control to lay my hair nicely i'll go ahead and braid this part of this hair like i'm gonna braid it three three and then i'll use the thread the rope that you can see dangling over there i'm gonna use it to to hold to secure it but before then i also go ahead and braid this other part just like i braided the other part of the hair so the the thread you can see dangling there is actually a yarn it's a yarn i used to tie the hair okay i didn't use a rubber band it's a yarn so i'll go ahead and then i'll fold my hair just as you can see if you have a very long hair fold it for you can fold it two times or three times okay fold it and use the thread to just wrap around it and then open up this i had to open up this part of the hair the rope the thread because i didn't tie it tight i opened it up bent i bent my hand and i use it to tie it around my hair next process is the installation process guys so this is the hair beautiful bouncy soft and nice so i'll use the rubber band part to attach to the hair just like you can see when i finish then i'll turn the hair over to the front just like that and then i'll use the leave out the leave out part that we made i use then start wrapping around this hair i wrap it around this hair. as i wrap around the hair i'm pulling i'm pulling and i'm holding it tight so that it doesn't fall off or so that it would be really really i'm um, hard smooth and nice okay so guys what you see is what you get with me but if you can't get this wool anywhere please use a braid extension braid extension can also give you the same thing as this and before i forget i only use two packs of this hair to achieve this hairstyle so three rows in a pack three rows in a pack but i didn't use all of it i think i used four and a half rows inside the two packs yeah so this is what i got i'll also go ahead and also install this part of this hair and when i finish i'll install the back part of the hair off the camera and i'll come and show you guys the final look but then after the final look i was not just okay with this i wanted to play around with the hair i had to achieve three beautiful styles with this particular hair hmm. you can't wait to see it i know keep on watching <laughs> okay guys when i finished i didn't like the way the ends was looking i had to cut it off i had to cut off the tips and then i used the hair wax i used to lay down my hair i used it to apply on the tips just like that yeah i used to apply it on the tips just like that and when i finished ooh la la your girl was all shades so beautiful look at this hair now and to know that you can even do this yourself like prepare it down whenever you want to step out you want to cruise you want to go around town you just easily install this hair oh my god i wasn't so 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 um okay with this style i wanted to play around with the hair a little bit like i mentioned earlier on i had to try something else oh my world i had to go ahead and start wrapping this hair around just like you can see okay when i wrapped it around when i was done wrapping it around i'm gonna use the bobby pins the black pins to secure it to hold it in place just like i want so at this point you have to adjust it to fit your face you know how your face looks you know what really looks good on your face adjust it nicely to fit your face before you go in with the bobby pins to attach like to secure it nicely when i'm done like when i finish securing this hair i was like oh my god so i can actually use this detachable double braids hair to slay this hair oh my goodness oh my world ah so when i finish with that part as well i had to try something else i used the yarn that you can see to kind of like make the ends to be like a barrel ends like the barrel braids ends yeah so i had to start wrapping around just like you can see 
okay so when i finished wrapping around like that i'm gonna use the yarn to tie the reason i use the yarn is because I, I i was looking for my rubber bands i don't know where i placed them okay and it was really late i filmed around 1 a.m okay so i had to use the yarn to just tie this hair and to secure when i finished tying i had to when i finished um wrapping it around i had to tie it really tight so that it doesn't remove okay when i finish i had to cut off the the thread the yarn when i finish with cutting off the yarn i'll also go ahead and also show you again how i secured it and then voila oh my god <laughs> okay my loves this is the final look let me know which of the looks do you like let me know which one are you gonna try out check out your girl now wow thank you so much guys for sticking around with your girl up to this point don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you still haven't subscribed to my channel please kindly do so i'll see you in my next video i love you bye